So the burning question, one you've all been asking, how much does something like this cost? It cost me about £15,000 from stallers. It will cost you about £1,500 to £2,000 in sort sort of gas boiler. So you can see it's going to be quite expensive. Now with the domestic and uh, commercial renewable heat incentives, hopefully the marketplace in the UK will respond and more and more of boilers like this will be installed and the price will finally come down. Currently where we are in 2014, the difficulty may not be so much installing as finding an installer to do it for you. There are more, are more suppliers on the market now, but back five years ago when we installed, actually it was very complicated, very difficult to find someone who would do this. We got lucky, we found a local installer who would do it for us, but still it's a bit of a search. Now if you are to um, qualify for renewable heat incentive, you will need MCS qualified installer, and there is an online database so you can look there, okay? Now, if we had the renewable heat incentive payments, this would have paid for itself in about five years. So it gives you a rough idea as to the annual payment would have been in the region of 1,500 pounds, okay? So if you can sum up the cash up front, you will be laughing, it does pay for itself. Now, how does it compare to gas in terms of running costs? It is slightly cheaper to buy pellets than to have the gas usage, you know, energy unit per energy unit. So it's slightly cheaper to operate biomass. I think it's slightly cheaper, you have to remember that if you wish to get someone in to maintain one of these boilers annually, that might cost you between 300 and 500 pounds a year. That is not cheap, because currently the market is quite constricted with supply of installers. Hopefully that will change, but you may not be able to get your average plumber to come in and make this, um, or to do the annual um, renewal of all the, the cleaning and the maintenance. So be aware that there are some after sales issues that you may expect. The technology itself is rock solid. Um, get a good Austrian boiler that we've got. This did cost a lot more. We had to pay a bit more because this was one of the few units in the UK that was licensed to operate in a pollution control zone, a, a clean air zone that we operate here. If you're out in the countryside, you may not need technology that's licensed for clean air zones. Um, do check if you're an installer when they offer you the options, okay? So we paid a bit more. You can get alternative biomass boilers that will do essentially the same job for about £9,000. So obviously you can get a much quicker payback. You don't need to pay the sort of money that we paid. Um, as many people will be off the gas grids who are install these, then um, they don't really necessarily will fall in or probably be in rural areas where they're not going to be in a pollution control zone, smoke control zone. Okay, so I'd imagine most people will be paying less for these, but do remember what I just said about the maintenance, the annual maintenance. If you can do it yourself, great. It's a bit like going back to the 1950s and tinkering with an old sports car. Um, if you like that sort of thing, you'll be perfectly happy to do it yourself. Okay, other drawbacks of biomass. Um, Probably, unless you have someone to maintain it for you, to operate it for you, the sort of controls that we have here are probably too sophisticated for people in social housing, the elderly, people with learning difficulties. So do make sure that you are reasonably comfortable with operating something like this. You, if you operate an ATM, you can probably use it, but to be realistic, um, it doesn't, quite, doesn't require a PhD, but it, is a little bit more complicated than your average um, heat and control system. Given that most people in the domestic circumstances don't know how to operate all the simple systems they have, then this may indeed be a problem for some users. So for the time being, it's probably going to be amongst a, a small group of enthusiast people who are technically able. As for loading the fuel, you need to be able-bodied, but you don't have to have the sort of system that we have. You can operate a separate silo where the wood pellets are blown in from a lorry and then they're all automated through to the boiler and you never have to touch a single pellet if you want to, okay? There are super homes in the network that have those sort of boilers. If you want to see one, go and have a look, but do ask first. Um, so what does it cost per year for us to buy the fuel? About five tonnes, we're talking about 20p a kilogram, 25p a kilogram. We're talking about 1,000 to 1,200 pounds a year. 
Um, yeah, that seems a lot, but remember, if you're paying for your gas bill um, every month, then that pretty much is going to be something that or more, okay? So this will be cheaper. It's a little bit more hassle in terms of having to receive solid fuel deliveries. If you're used to having a couple of coal deliveries a year for your bunker, that probably isn't an issue. But if you are used to gas, then obviously that will seem to be a bit of a hassle by comparison. For us, it's not a big deal, we're not too concerned about it. So that's the KWB Easy Fire Biomass Boiler in Super Home 59. We're based in High Wickham in Buckinghamshire. If you'd like to come and see us, go to the website at superhomes.org.uk, look us up at number 59, and press the button to book a visit. And we are open um, every day of the year, effectively, apart from Christmas. So just let us know when you'd like to turn up, and we'll arrange it via email. And we look forward to meeting you. And you can enjoy our Buy My Spoiler. Thank you. Bye-bye.